Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do an exercise for American style using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. If you do know how to play and you play at tournaments or events where they have prizes, oh yeah, prizes. I go for prizes. This exercise can help. I call it Charleston Force. You know the Charleston is really half the game. If you can set yourself up in the Charleston with four tiles to discard at the end of the Charleston, you might have a winner. So I'm gonna pick three random categories from the card and we're gonna force a hand in that category. Let's see what happens. Three. Let's see what we got. Winds and Dragons. Addition. Year. We're going to make them happen. Can you see that? OCD. Sorry. Okay, here we go. We are going to say that we're the dealer for this. And I'm going to make the mock Charleston now. Okay, let's see what we can do. Year, edition, wins and dragons. We have a joker and a flower and just one wind and one dragon. That's it. Oh, but look, we have twos, we have sevens, we have twos, and a one, and a dragon. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Let's try for a year hand. Okay, two, zero, one, seven. Let's hold the sevens. So let's throw these three right here. Trying for the year hand, I think. There's a seven. Oh man, look at this. Look at these eights. We'll have to break that up. We're pretty solid here. Breaking those up. White and a seven. Look at that. Oh yeah, this is a winner. This is a winner. Okay, those are discards. discards. There's a keeper. Flower. Discards. Keeper. Two tiles for the optional cross. So we have two discards and we have a winner here. This would be the concealed hand under the year category. Two flowers, pung of twos, pung of whites, pung of ones, pung of sevens. We have a joker in here, two discards. This is a winner. Year category, very nice. Okay, addition and wins and dragons. Okay, here we go. Two, let's see, right across, left, left across, right. There we go. All right, let's see what we can make happen here. No flowers. We're playing wins and dragons. Unless we get flowers. Wow, north and west. We're going to go for a prize though. Let's see what we can force. That's why this is called Charleston Force, because we're going to force it, force it into being. Okay, what about if we play north and south with fives? 
north and south with fives. Let's keep all the wins and let's pass one of each suit. Maybe now there, let's give those up. That way we have tiles to work with for the next pass. There's a flower. One, nine, two. There's a dragon. Let's do one of each suit. Oh, I don't want to get left with like numbers. Oh, I think we're going to be left with like numbers no matter what. That's too bad. Oh, there's a white dragon. Very nice. Okay. Let's pass these three, I guess. Yeah. Oh, a five. Nice. Sort of. Not sure how this is going to pan out. So here's a three, six, seven. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Let's see, north five, winds and dragons. Oh my goodness, this is not good. This is a terrible pass. We can't really, if we're doing north and south with fives, let's give up the dragon. I don't wanna pass all one suit like that. There's a wind, north, and here's tiles we can pass. There's a keeper, south, north and south with fives, pass. Optional cross. I know there's nothing in there, but we'll do it anyway. Oops, okay. Wow, seven discards, winds and dragons. North and south with fives. I would hold all these, of course, just in case a different w wind hand comes in. Maybe we can use these for joker bait, and then those would be the discards. Winds and dragons. Okay, we gotta make an addition hand work now. Okay, let's hope for flowers this time. We need flowers. Okay, here we go. Last one. We've got a flower right there. Oh my goodness, look at this. We're playing Look, a, a, um, an addition hand, though. Let's see here. Here's a seven. Don't need that. Here's a nine. Seven, six, one, three. Nine, four. Here's an eight. We're just going to hold all of them and see what we can get. Let's pass these three. We're going to try to make an addition hand work. There's a seven. Seven, one, three. Let's keep the six in case the seven, six with a different suit comes in. Let's give up on the nine, four. The four at least. Let's pass these three. There's a six. Okay, now let's pass. Ooh, there's joker bait. Joker bait. Let's pass these three. Flower. Let's pass these three. Flower. Ooh, there's a pung of sixes. We gotta give it up though, because we're we, we're gonna do we're gonna leverage the one three here. We have no one three crack, so we're, we're gonna have to break it up. 
get the Joker out of there. North. So we'll throw these away. No keepers. Let's discard. Optional cross. Yeah, we got discards. But this is not too bad for forcing a hand. This is not a bad outcome. Four flowers, 13, pung of sixes, pung of sevens, joker bait, three discards. Addition hand. That might work. That joker bait could come in handy there. Maybe even the red. I'd throw that away last. Addition. Let me know what you think about Charleston Force. If you haven't tried Charleston Force and you have a set at home, get it out. Give it a try. Pick three random categories and force yourself to play hands in those categories. Then the next time you play at a tournament or an event where there are prizes, you'll be good to go on how to make those decisions and forcing a hand. A lot of times people don't see the opportunity. If you practice this Charleston force, you'll see lots of opportunity. I guarantee it. I use this method all the time when I play at events. It's a lot of fun. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. Once you click subscribe, click that bell so you get notification of when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any of these great exercises that can improve your game. Maybe even give you some uh, strategy, some insight maybe into the game that can give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.